breakfast, I'm going to be having this Kite Hill Almond Milk Yogurt, which I was so happy to get because I can't find it in Canada really that like, easily. It's only available in like one little small market. So it's made with almond milk. Really excited. I'm going to put a scoop of this Blue Majican, which is just a superfood. I will link it down below. Some of my purely Elizabeth granola, you guys know. And some blueberries that have already been washed. I washed the whole thing when I got it. So for people who are going to comment, it's already washed. This is the breakfast. We have the yogurt, the blueberries, and some granola. It's going to be really yummy. And I love the blue color of the yogurt. I am about to put on some diffusing. Diffusing. Diffu my diffuser. And I'm going to be using this. Will it focus? The Sage Liquid Sunshine because it is so overcast and like sad looking today. So I'm going to diffuse this so that it can at least smell like sunshine in the house. Even though it's like really overcast and muggy. And I put like 10, 15 drops or 15. The diffuser is limited edition. Um, I feel like I'm going to get questions on it because it's so pretty and it's marble. Um, and it's from Sage. I will leave their website down below. They bring it back. They brought it back last Christmas, so they might bring it back again this Christmas. But they have a lot of other pretty diffusers as well. I can show you another one that I have. This is another diffuser by Sage that I have. It's by my bedside. It's really pretty and it's like this silvery... I don't know, Geode, uh, Paulina, like PB Bunny, 97, 87, actually has like the same one. So yeah, it's really pretty too. So I highly suggest, oh, and these are a couple other things that I use from them. This is their Rose Mist and this is their Tantra Euphoric Mix. Oh, and since we're here, this is the hand cream. I keep it by my bed and uh, it smells, not smells, it works really good at like keeping your hands um, not not dry. I don't know what to say, but it's really good and absorbs quick. Excuse my nails. I need to get them done. So I'm about to make some coffee. I'm going to be making this Four Sigmatic one with Lion's Mane and Chaga. Because I'm studying and Lion's Mane is really, really good for brain power and for memory and everything like that. So they just come in little packets. Normally, I'll make my coffee in like my actual huge Breville espresso maker. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be making this because it helps. And I'm going to show you the other things I'm putting in my coffee as well. All right, so we start off with a packet of this, and I get it either on Amazon or at Whole Foods. And I like to put a splash of almond milk, or in this case, I have macadamia milk on hand. Um, I just don't like the taste of it without milk. Normally, I drink my coffee black, and I don't put like anything in it. Um, but I find this just tastes better when you put a little bit of milk in it, for me at least. And then I'm putting in two scoops of collagen, because I didn't have that, uh, well, I didn't have my full scurvy, so I'm having one scoop now. And then I'm gonna use this little frother that I got on Amazon for less than $10. So A, it's gonna be overcast like all day. So like the lighting is not gonna be super bright in this vlog. I'm sorry guys, like I can't control the weather. Um, but today's main language can be studying because I have my licensing exam, my first of two physician licensing exams. So when you're becoming a doctor, you have two exams you need to take that are part of the licensing board. Um, so I have my first one on Tuesday, it's Thursday today, so the first one on Tuesday, which will be the day before this goes up. So I already had it by the time you've seen this. Um, so I'm just studying for that all day, but I am getting my hair done, rather I'm getting my, my tape and extensions removed, because they're growing out, and I'm going to Europe, and I don't want to have to have them like half grown out in Europe. So I'm going to be doing that, but also it's exciting because I'm going to be vlogging a bunch in Europe because I'm visiting my family in France and I want to do like some what I eat in a days or like cooking for my family with like things you only find in Europe because a lot of people like they say they can't find the ingredients I use in a lot of my stuff. So I'm going to be doing recipes and what I eat in a days with like stuff that I find in France, which is like a European country. So like you'll see how I eat healthy, what I cook. Um, so I'm about to have an early lunch because of my hair appointment and I don't want to be hungry and then I'll get back like later in the afternoon and it'll be kind of late for lunch. So I'm trying out this new soup I got. It's the West African squash and cashew with coconut, turmeric, and cinnamon. It doesn't have, it's gluten free and it doesn't have any dairy in it so we're gonna, we're gonna see if it's good. And then with that I'm just going to have some toast. This is my favorite gluten free brand, sorry. Um, I don't know if you can get in the States, but here in Canada, it's pretty popular. It's the millet and chia. Yeah, I'm going to toast some of that up and have it with my soup. So here is more of a close-up of my lunch. So I have the soup that I heated up and then a couple pieces of toast, which I put some 
um, like a vegan dairy-free butter that's made with only a few ingredients like coconut oil, a little bit of sea salt and that. So yeah, this is what I'm going to have for lunch. And it's so gloomy out that this kind of works. And I love things where you can just buy soup that is clean ingredients, something that only has a few of them, and then just heat it up. It really makes like a good convenient meal that's fast if you're super busy or if you're studying for exams like I am. So yeah, yummy, yummy. Hey guys, I just got back from the hair salon. I got my extensions out and it's just it's so thin like if you've had extensions you have really fine hair you know what I mean it's just like there's just not that much hair left like it's it's sad but I'm gonna give my hair a break while I'm in Europe and then the beginning of September before like school starts because my school starts in September I'll probably put them back in because it just feels so much better with it and I mean it feels like really soft he did a keratin treatment and he like cleaned up my ends for me which is really nice um on my way back, I stopped at Starbucks as I was craving, well, I was honestly just craving a coffee, so I got half-caf because I do want a bit of caffeine to help me study. I find that when I have caffeine while I study, my brain is like a sponge and I just study a, like, a lot, lot better. And I'm going to be snacking on this while I study now. It is this chocolate sea salt bar from RX Bar. I like it because it's really clean. These are the ingredients, as you can see, really nice and clean. Side note. How pretty is this succulent? I've had it for like a month now. Anyways, I got it at Ikea and it was like $20. Um, but yeah, it's really like pretty and it came like, it came like this with all three of them in this pink like vase type thing. So I thought that was like really perfect because I didn't want to have to like make my own terrarium type thing or find my vase, so. Really, really pretty. Another thing that I want to let you guys know is that there is a giveaway going on on my Instagram right now. Um, it's gonna go, when you see this, it'll be live until August 3rd at 11 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. And on it, there is an Apple iPhone you can win, a uh, Apple Watch, a Prana mat, which is a value of like $270, um, and a $100 Amazon gift card. So one person's gonna win that whole thing. Um, it's like almost $1,300 um, worth of stuff. So make sure you head over to my Instagram, it's linked down below, but it's also just at Keep Up With Liv. So you definitely don't want to miss out because that is like definitely the biggest giveaway I've ever had on my Instagram. Um, so you definitely want to go and enter that. Yeah. So for dinner, guys, I'm playing around with like a black bean burger recipe. So I'm using one cup of black beans. Adding in the zucchini that I grated, I squeezed out the water just to make sure that they aren't like too mushy because then I think they won't cook. All right, then I'm gonna add in some flax seed, and I'm doing this instead of an egg to see if it works. So it should act as a binder, so I'm doing a tablespoon, no, let's do two. A couple tablespoons of that in there, and it should bind everything together. So I'm gonna take some in my hand, it looks like, a, like a, a handful size, and make like a little, a little burger patty. So I don't know if you can see because of the lighting, um, but I've been cooking the burgers on like a medium heat, medium high, and they're getting like brown on the top. So I'm hoping that they're like cooking through nice and like getting crisp. So I think it'll be good. So this is how it turned out. I have some sweet potato here that I had meal prepped. So I roasted at 400 degrees for 30 minutes with some rosemary and some garlic um, powder. And I'll put that down in the description. And then I'm gonna put some of this um, everything bagel sesame, just like a little bit on the uh, on the top there of the avocado. So we got some healthy fats, we've got protein, complex carbs. Hopefully it is good. It looks so good, I'm so excited. As a little evening snack, I'm having a little bit of kiwi as well as half of a cookie butter cup that I made using the healthy cookie butter recipe video, which I will link in the description box if you wanna know how to make the healthy cookie butter. And then I did an Instagram post on how I made these. So I will leave that in the description box as well. But yeah, this is probably going to be it for the night.